you know, we, we are one species. We're homo sapiens, homo sapiens sapiens, actually. Um, if, you, if you have two animals that have a different evolved primary optimal diet, those are, those are different species. You know, and, 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 and beyond that, you know, I mean, cause even, even things that are, you know, I mean, like, a, you know, dogs and wolves or coyotes or whatever, they're, they're you know, they're separated you know, to a certain extent, but you know, there's still carnivores as well. You have to, you have to really branch out further. Um, but you know, evolutionarily you have to be much more distant than that. Um, but you know, that, yeah, that's the thing, you know, we, we are one animal and, and this is, this is just basic biology. Animals have an evolved evolutionary niche, their, their evolved diet, uh, all animals do. And we are animals. That's just what we are. Um, whether we were, you know, you know, created as, as such or evolved as such, we are, this is what we are. We are animals and we're in the kingdom of, you know, animalia and, and these, these rules do apply to us. And, you know, yeah, I talk to people and they, they said, well, everyone's different. Maybe that diet works for you, but, you know, it wouldn't work for this person. It's just like, well, no, you know, we do have an evolved diet. We do have something, a primary optimal diet. Now, some, certain, certain things are less bad, certain non-evolutionary you know, evolutionary sort of things are less bad for people. Like, you know, people from a European population will have an easier time with sugar, alcohol, you know, carbs, plants, and things like that than say native americans or you know native australians would but that doesn't mean that those are good for europeans it just means they're less bad and there's still an optimal an optimization optimal diet there is an optimal diet for a lion or a giraffe or a zebra or a cow cows don't do well on grain they get fat and they get sick that's why we give it to them that's happening to us too it fattens us up it puts intramuscular fat on us you know all that marbling in a steak you know, of a grain fed cow, like that's happening to you when you eat carbohydrates. That's what you, the insides of your muscles look like if you cut them open. And so, you know, you know, I argue that humans are carnivores. I argue that our optimal diet is a carnivore diet and, it, and the, to the exclusion of anything from another kingdom, but it is something, you know, there is something, there is an optimal diet for humans and you can figure that out and you're looking at different data like you know, the evolutionary record and so forth our biology there's a lot of different sort of ways you can look at this but there is something and yeah someone someone did say that to me they said it was like no no everyone's different everyone has a different thing like that and um you know i sort of i was just like well no I was just like, and and they they kept pushing that and they they were very convinced that they were right and so i just asked them like great name give me one example of two animal, two members of the same species that have different optimal diets 